Good morning, my friends. Uh, it is very early in the morning. I woke up at, <laughs> oddly enough, 4.44 this morning. Uh, and when I woke up, I had a, a conversation on my mind uh, that came from the comment section. And it was interesting because the topic was very specific. This topic was the difference between judgment and discernment. Judgment and discernment. Um, before I delve into what that, about the, the, the dichotomy of those two words, I want to tell you the story about how this happened. You know, ever since I put out my, uh, my painting from my memory of Jeshua, um, which is literally just a visual representation of what I remember from physically seeing him in that past life. Now, when I say physically seeing him, people often say to me, well, that was obviously in your mind. That was a... I cannot explain, explain it to you or express it to you enough but to say that I was standing there. I could feel the wind. I could smell the air. I could, you know, I could I could feel the stones under my feet. Um, I was I was physically in that place. It was very very visceral. If you if you ever heard my regression, you hear me describe this uh, in the in the regression as well. I, it was as if I was literally physically there. When I saw him, he looked like a Jewish man from <laughs> a Middle Eastern country. He looked like a a Jewish man from Middle Eastern country. I put that painting up. I've had multiple people tell me um, that they prefer the painting by Akiana, which I think is a Prince of Peace painting. Beautiful, beautiful art. She's very, very talented. But for me, I can't believe that that's a painting of Jeshua because I have visceral memories of Jeshua. And so I painted Jeshua. I also have a a, 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 a question about that painting because it really does look like Bruce Marciano from the video Bible series. Uh, who He's the guy who played Jesus. Looks just like him, as a matter of fact. I've also had people say to me that, well, um, it was a vision that she had and she painted this vision. And then I had somebody else tell me that uh, she prayed and this carpenter showed up on her door so she invited them into the house and and uh, he sat for a portrait of of uh, of him, you know, and then was never seen again magically. Um, and so this story is is out there. And so yesterday I was going through the research on that painting, and it's interesting because there are multiple stories about that painting. There are multiple stories about the painting, and. There's multiple stories from the source of that painting as well, um, but one of the one of the the one that really stood out as the most true to me was Akiana herself telling the story of how she had a picture of what what Jeshua looked like, uh, well actually what Jesus looked like, and and she had a picture in her head what she, what he looked like, but she was looking for somebody who could be the face. And her next door neighbors brought her friend over, thinking maybe this guy could be a good, good face. And so it was her next door neighbor's friend, who was a carpenter, um, who came in and sat for it. He didn't disappear. He's not, you know, mystically gone. He's this guy that was just the next door neighbor's best friend or or close friend. So he sat for this painting, according to the artist. Now. In my conversation with this person on the, in the comments section, um, what was interesting to me was when I said that that this is what he looked like from from my, my painting is what I see him as or what I remember him as. I said actually what I said was this is from memory from past life regression. They were like, well, well. Instantly, they wanted to challenge that, and I'm, which is great. You know, spirituality is a personal journey. 
you know, we all have to take our own assessment of uh, every situation. But it came down to the point where it was like it, 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 the conversation kind of moved around, and, and then um, I said, "Well, I, I actually, I said, I don't, I don't, in any way, shape, or form, do I uh, um, think you lack integrity." But I question hers, Akianis, right? Because when you look at the painting, it looks like an Italian man. It looks like a, a northern Italian man specifically because he's got the, the the sandy brownish hair as opposed to the hair of a Middle Eastern man. Uh, he has the light-colored skin of a European. He doesn't doesn't look like a Middle Eastern person at all. Um, so to me, I'm looking at this painting and saying, well, that, first of all, that's not what I remember him looking like. And number two, it, it is uh, it doesn't match anthropologically. It, it doesn't look like someone from the region. And so, and on top of it, it looks exactly like Bruce Marciano from the video Bible series. So as I, I said at some point, I, I, that the word integrity was interesting because I don't even necessarily question the integrity of the artist. She was a little girl when she painted the painting, Right. But I do question the integrity of the story because, as I said in the beginning of this, there are multiple stories out there about that painting. And when you watch the videos of Akiana that she is creating, it's her voice and her talking and her producing, um, <coughs> my, my question about her in general are very interesting because when I when I watch her videos, she's telling, especially this this one, the, the painting the impossible was what the one I just watched. She's really glorifying herself all the way through this all the way through this this video. She's really talking about herself as a prophet, and she's talking about herself as you know mystical experiences, and she's painting this mysterious image around herself. Um, now, I can understand how someone can drop into uh, early fame and, and then drop an ego about it, too. As far as the mystical experiences, um, I have to go to my discernment. Now, what is discernment? Discernment is looking at a situation and deciding whether it's true or not to you. That's what discernment is. Okay, it is literally going in and saying, do I believe this? Does this feel right? And that's discernment. Judgment would be me going in there and saying, she's wrong and she's terrible and she's a liar and, you know, judging her, right? I'm not judging her at all. I'm judging the story, right? I'm not, well, actually, I'm not judging. I'm using my discernment on the story. I'm saying the story doesn't, doesn't feel right to me. Right, I look at the story as, first of all, there's multiple stories about the same painting. Second of all, he doesn't look like even a person from the region. And none of her paintings actually look like people from the region. Her paintings of Mary and her paint, paintings of, of you know, the other people of the time period, none of them look Middle Eastern. They all look European. So that, that's a questionable thing for me. Um, do I... Do I discount her, her, her paintings? I think her paintings are beautiful pieces of art that are coming through her own artistic sensibilities. Um, I, I do doubt the stories, though, because I, uh, when I hear, when I listen to her talk about the, her experiences, every, you know, the, you always hear the, you always hear the story of, uh, your parents telling you, when I was a kid, I had to walk uphill both ways to school, you know, <laughs> up to uphill through the snow to school. You know, you always hear that funny joke. They talk about the idea that was, everything was so harsh. When you, when you watch her videos, it's like everything in her life is completely tragic. And at one point, she literally says, we had to walk to school through two feet of snow. 
Right? She literally says the exact same thing that a parent would say in, in, in justifying how hard they had it, right? And you know, she talks about how they were in a moldy house that was always flooded, and they were always in, in flood waters, and they were always doing this. And then the next thing they, they, they knew, they were living in a Frank Lloyd Wright mansion in Missouri. And you know, it was very, it's a very unbelievable story that she tells. So my discernment says that it's probably not true. Whether she's doing it maliciously or not, that's not for me to judge. I'm not judging her. I'm using my discernment. My discernment is looking at the, at the thing and saying, well, this doesn't sound right. This doesn't feel right. Um, and I think that that's the major part of what I like to talk about is that you've probably heard me say a hundred times in these videos you know, spirituality is a personal journey. It's, it's, it's for each of us to decide what we believe. I don't expect any of you to believe anything I say because it's, it's not for me to tell you to believe. It's not for me to tell you a big story about that past life. In fact, you've probably heard me say a hundred times as well, it doesn't matter who anybody was in a past life, including myself. You've probably heard me say, that I myself don't don't understand reincarnation. I don't understand. Am I the only one with these memories? Am am I uh, one of a thousand people with these memories? I I don't know. You know, all I know is that I had these memories and these experiences, so I I share them. Um, but discernment, right? Here's the other part of this that I want to kind of talk about. Discernment and judgment, judgment get, get mixed up sometimes. And when, when they get mixed up, it's because of the fact that in, in a conversation with someone, if you don't agree with someone, it can very quickly turn into some, one or the other judging the other for their belief, right? And, and then questioning their validity, questioning their, their thoughts on something. And I, I believe that it's, it's healthy to make your personal discernments. I think it's completely unhealthy to judge someone or to condemn, condemn someone because that's, that's just putting you in power. That's putting you in a position of dominance. And no one is, as I've said a million times, no one is better than anybody else. We are all pure equals. That's what Jeshua taught. We are all equal with one another. If, if anyone is glorifying themselves, in my opinion, for my beliefs, they should not be followed because it's not about, it should never be about them or me or Jeshua or anybody. It should be about you and your journey and your path. What I do on this channel is I put out my information, my beliefs, my truth. Um, as I said, I don't expect anybody to believe it. However, for me personally, my beliefs stem from the root of this past life regression. And my personal life experiences studying spirituality for over 30 years and studying um, spiritual methods for over 30 years. Um, so everything that I talk about comes from my experience, my memory, and sometimes from what I'm getting. You know, we all have intuition, right? But I share that. I share that. But it's for each one of you to use your discernment to decide whether it feels right to you whether it matches your belief system, you know, if it just feels right. Um, and when it doesn't feel right to somebody else, I believe it's wrong to judge them for having a different opinion. And I think you should do is exactly what, what I tend to do in my life is I just say, I respect your beliefs. I just don't believe it. That's as simple as I can put it. But when you, something doesn't feel right, I'm, 
I, well, for me, I, I automatically do the research. And I dive in and I go as deep as I can. I find what I can find. And when your discernment and the research lines up, that really affects what you believe. And so um, I'm not in any way, shape, or form condemning or judging Akiana for her painting, Prince of Peace. But I am my discer- using my discernment to say I don't believe the story because there are multiple stories about the same painting. And when I watched the video about her life that she narrated herself, it was all about glorifying her and glorifying her as a almost to the level of being a prophet. And so for me, that doesn't that does just that doesn't work for me. Because I just I don't think it's about self glorification. I think it's about the glorification of, of everybody. Because we all are equal, we all have the same innate powers within us. It's just a matter of becoming aware and taking it. So that's my thought on judgment and discernment. And um, I hope that answers somebody's question about uh, how I feel about that painting as well. I think it's a beautiful painting. I just don't think it's Jesus. I just don't believe, think it's Jeshua. And um, especially after doing the research, I really don't think it's Jeshua. I think it was the next door neighbor's friend who sat for a painting. And um, I, and the only reason I, I believe that is because the artist is the one who said that's what happened. So um, that's my thought on that today. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I'm getting some great questions for um, video, upcoming videos. Um, I've got about six or eight in the in the list right now. So keep them coming because it really, I think we'll, we'll keep these videos flying if we keep getting more and more uh, topics to talk about. So have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See you. Bye.